10 years ago today, the space shuttle Columbia broke apart over East Texas. Today, people in small communities where the pieces fell and the nation are remembering the astronauts. Rick D. Husband, William C. McCool. Can you see? A NASA Day of Remembrance at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida paid tribute to the crew. What the crew didn't know is a small piece of foam insulation broke away from the fuel tank and blasted a hole in one of the heat shield panels. The extreme heat during re-entry caused the shuttle to break apart. The pieces fell over East Texas, landing in communities including Nacogdoches and Hemp Hill. Today, KFDM reporter Megan Dillard and photographer Drew Berrio traveled to Hemp Hill, a town that became ground zero in the search for victims and the effort to commemorate the crew. We started watching, you know, like CNN and Fox News, and it was showing the debris, and they're saying it broke up over Dallas, and I said, oh, it's not Dallas, it's, it's here. The people of Hemp Hill remember February 1st, 2003, as though it were yesterday. My house started vibrating and shaking really bad, and um, the pictures was like rattling off the wall, and then I heard two loud booms, and I was like, oh my God, what, what was this? In the first hours after the space shuttle Columbia's breakup, People who live in this small town began joining the recovery effort and became part of the NASA family. It was a hard day for us, um, but by day 12, we found all seven of our astronauts and sent them home to their families. In the days and weeks that followed, people from this area joined search teams and fed volunteers. Today, 10 years after the disaster, some of those same people are sharing a meal at the VFW Hall, the same place that served as a staging area for people who came to Hemp Hill from across the country. Without all of the evidence that we found here uh, that was critical to understanding what happened with Columbia's breakup, and uh, they're very tactful and family-like support as we were covering the crew members uh, meant an awful lot to the NASA family. We'll always be indebted to this community in particular and to East Texas as a whole. Just down the road at the Patricia Huffman Smith NASA Museum, students are paying tribute to the STS-107 crew and learning about the NASA program. Let them personally get to know. Um, they learn about the astronauts, so it's more of a personal um, base and then at that time we teach them too about technology and research and how much NASA has contributed to their everyday life. Everyday life for people in Hemp Hill that now includes a forever connection to NASA, the people who were here 10 years ago and the seven crew members who lost their lives. It's hard to like forget it, you know, when you've lived it, it's kind of like the 9-11. You see it on TV and it's so surreal and you think, oh, how horrible, but then when you're actually in the middle of it, it's like it becomes part of you and who you are and it kind of shapes where you go in the future. In Hemp Hill, Megan Dillard, KFDM 6 News. There was a parade this morning in Hemp Hill to remember the victims. Politicians, NASA employees and an astronaut were on hand to meet with people. There is also a memory walk scheduled for tomorrow morning.